Ezra Miller, the Flash and Fantastic Beast star who became mired in controversy after a string of arrests and allegations in recent years, appears to have been quietly replaced in the second season of the Prime Video animated series Invincible. Miller voiced D.A. Sinclair in Season 1, a mad scientist who murders humans and turns them into robots dubbed reanimate. The villain is defeated but returns in a nightmare sequence during this week's Season 2 episode, I'm Not Going Anywhere, but this time he's voiced by actor Eric Bauza, whose other voice credits include X-Men 97 and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. EW has reached out to representatives for Prime Video and Miller for comment. Based on the Skybound slash Image comic of the same name, Invincible hails from The Walking Dead's Robert Kirkman and reunites him with actors Stephen Yoon, Lauren Cohan, and Michael Cudlitz, among others. The show follows teenager Mark Grayson, Yoon, who learns that his father, J.K. Simmons, is the most powerful superhero on the planet. Miller, who uses they slash them pronouns, has in recent years been accused of assault, abuse, and grooming children, as well as arrested for alleged disorderly conduct and harassment. Some charges against them have been dropped as part of plea deals Miller has struck in multiple states. The actor apologized for their behavior in 2022 and said in a statement provided to EW that they'd begun ongoing treatment to address complex mental issues. I want to apologize to everyone that I have alarmed and upset with my past behavior, Miller said. I am committed to doing the necessary work to get back to a healthy, safe, and productive stage in my life. The controversies led to calls for Miller's removal from the 2023 superhero film The Flash, but director Andy Muschietti stood by the embattled actor, stating that he had no plans to recast Miller in future iterations. The press tour for The Flash largely sidelined Miller, focusing instead on Michael Keaton's return as Batman. We have a lot of empathy in general for people who need help, and especially in mental health issues, Muschietti previously told EW. That's why they are taking the necessary steps to deal with their recovery, and we support them in that.